day welcome this is your daily med with lady v today we want to look at the encouragement that the apostle paul gives to us the believers and also to our leaders in first thessalonians chapter 5 uh, from verse 12 to verse 22 he was admonishing the leaders the pastors the elders the teachers those representatives of the lord who does his work and he was saying listen in light of what is going on in light of the second coming of christ he gave at least 14 various uh, different commands that christians should really practice First of all, he says to the leaders, warn those in the Christian faith that who have become ruly among you. Then he says, comfort those whose mind are feeble. He also says, those that are weak, the leaders need to support them. And of course, he says that they should be patient towards all men. But my concentration verse today is verse 15, where he says, Always strive to do that which is good for each other and for everyone else. He says the day is approaching. Christ is coming back. So he says, see that no one render evil for evil unto any man but see to it that the believers follow that which is good he says we should rejoice evermore every one of us we should pray without ceasing he says in everything we should give thanks we should be humble enough to give thanks because the cure for pride is thanksgiving he says we should not quench the spirit. We should not despise those who prophesy, nor prophesyings. He says we should prove all things, and we prove things by the scripture, the word of God. He says we should all fast to that which is good, and we should abstain from all appearance of evil stay away from the things that even look as if they are evil but when we come back to our concentration verse which is verse 15 as he says to us let there be no evil stay away from problems he says make sure that nobody pays back wrong for wrong but always strive to do what is good for each other and for everyone else. As we know in Christendom, the number one problem among Christians everywhere is the problem of the flesh acting up. And then we find one can't really get along with the others. Believers who still operate in the flesh can divide any local church so he is saying only the spirit of god that gives the empowerment can cause the believer to develop love brokenness forbearance kindness tender heartedness and forgiveness these things are indispensable for peace and he wants us to strive for peace at all times and the path or a treat to peace which paul may be warning us about is when people get around together in cliques for the wrong reason because they are getting around in cliques either to disrupt the leadership or to cause problem one with another but as he speaks to us as brethren he says it is forbidden that 
anyone should thought of not having a right relationship one with the other but he encourages us to strive to do what is good for each other and for everyone else whether they are of the faith or not we know that as human beings the natural reaction when one offends is to strike back to return we will say tit for tat but that does not solve the problem that does not cause us as believers to be in fellowship one with the other and with the Lord so all he is saying to us let the Holy Spirit rule that when the situations arise we will be able to operate or act in a supernatural way in other words he says it will become instinct to do good to show good to love to show kindness and to say kind words to others to believers as well as unbelievers remember what the wise man solomon says to us in the book of proverbs he says a soft answer turns away wrath but grievous words stirs up anger so if somebody is angry and they come and throw out some harsh words instead of returning harsh words we can quash or quell the situation by returning soft words or soft answers so first Thessalonians 5 verse 12 and this is a final admonition of the Apostle Paul to holy living first two verses is uh, to the leaders and then the other verses is to all believers alike he says now we ask you brothers and sisters to acknowledge those who are hard-working among you who care for you in the Lord and who admonish you hold them in highest regard in love because of their work he says live in peace with each other and we urge you brothers and sisters warn them who are idle and disruptive encourage the disheartened help the weak be patient with everyone make sure that nobody pays back wrong for wrong but always strive to do what is good for each other and for everyone else he says rejoice always pray continually give thanks in all circumstances for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus do not treat prophecies with contempt but test them all hold on to what is good and reject every kind of evil may God bless you today as we strive to do good and to take warning to take admonition as the Apostle Paul gives us this final admonition for holy living and the things that we ought not to do and the things that we ought to do because crisis coming is near it is at hand it is even at the door god bless you thank you again for watching please like please subscribe please share also please comment and don't forget to visit my youtube channel daily med with 